Hi, I'm Suzanne. I'm Juan. And today we're here to celebrate our 12th anniversary. Can you believe that? <laughs> and we're also celebrating uh, Juan's art that he's done in quarantine. So, Juan, will you tell us about some pieces of art that you've done so far? All right. So, first of all, I love to work with the wood. Uh, I make this bench. Uh, and these are the top for some coffee tables. Uh, the wood is uh, black uh, walnut. And it's a lot of sanding and a lot of passions. So that's what I did at the garage. Uh, also at the garage, I make this rack. Uh, with the uh, skateboard parts and then I first paid some dude some money so he can sort of these uh, screws on it. So, so basically it's a hanger for clothing. Cool. What yeah. was your inspiration for that? Uh, it's not really uh, I didn't have the inspiration for it. It's just I don't want to throw away stuff that I can so it's like recycling. Reuse. Yeah, it's re-article. Okay. Is what I call my art. Uh, down there is another um, skateboard that was given to me and to make something with it, and I ended up making a bench with it. And what's the base out of? Uh, a walker that was super rusty, and it have a pieces of wood. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so. You know. Okay, so continue with the skateboarding stuff. I made this base, and actually, this is a suggestion from uh, Suzanne. She want to put this thing on the table, and then we put the condiments on top, and we haven't used it a few times for sure. All right, so. Tell us about these right here. Well, these are a new project that I'm doing with covers of all records. Uh, basically, after watching a show on Netflix called um, Glow. Glow Up. Glow, Glow up. up. I thought, well, you know what? I had nothing else to do but to create some stuff. So That's awesome. Just making a different face instead of already a face. All right, so on our traveling, we went to, um, what is it, Oregon? No, we went to Cadillac Mountain. I know, but the, where? That's in Maine. Okay, so that mountain from where is the inspiration for this piece, and actually that rock is from there, is Mount Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And we started on the top, we went to the bottom, and from the bottom, we went to the top, okay. Okay, which is pretty difficult it's pretty rigorous. for somebody that is 60 years old. And tell us about this, because this was inspired also by okay. that same trip. On our trip to, what is Toronto? Uh-huh. Oh, it's Montreal. A, it's a place called... Habitat 67. Habitat 67. And it was super, super cool. But I really thought I need a lot of color. But um, these are the outside of the buildings. Um, if you can Google Habitat what, 67, you'll see what I'm talking about. And basically, this is the way they really look. That's the color of cement. Um, okay, so. If you if you can recognize him, this is our cat, Darwin. Uh, <laughs> so he's always around when I'm painting, and he's like, "Hey, why you don't pay me, dude?" And I'm like, "Okay, so I'm gonna make you one." Tell us about this piece. Okay, so this piece, um, the inspiration or the drive behind this piece. Um, is Joan Miró, a Spaniard painter, which is my favorite of the Spanish uh, painters. Uh, uh, in my opinion, I like it better than Picasso. So anyways, 
And then what about this one? This one's so cool. That one represents um, the struggle that you have to go through, go from one place, one place to another place. Some people don't really want to adjust to change, and some people just think, if I take a shortcut, I'm just gonna get there regardless. But um, if you're going through the struggle at the end, you keep being in yourself. It just just may look different or feel different about it, but the core of your persona is still the same. And then at the end of the road, you come back alive. So um, anyways. That's the last piece. Uh, the name of this piece is Luca, and it has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> it's just that when I was painting it, somehow I was thinking about that Susan Vega song called My Name is Luca. And I thought, well, don't look like a girl or don't look like a guy. It's just his name is Luca. And it's really his screaming colors. Uh, I don't know if you can see the colors that's coming out of his mouth or her mouth. Uh, that's it. And so you created all of this art just during these few weeks of quarantine. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, plus a few other little things that I've been doing, but they like on the first uh, step of it. But Any, basically. Any last words of inspiration for people who might want to try art? Well, just do it. You know, just don't talk about doing it and not doing it, just doing it. You don't really need a whole lot of things. Like everything that I do is really recycled, it's recycled stuff. Like the frames are from Goodwill, uh, the wood uh, are pieces of wood that I find at the flea market uh, that nobody want them. Uh, they want money for it, but they don't want them anyways. Uh, the records are from um, the Goodwill. I don't really spend any money on buying the new stuff. Uh, once in a while, I have to buy color uh, that I don't have. But for the most part, you know, everything is from the Goodwill, garage sales, or thrift stores. And like I say, if you want to do some art, just, just do it, you know. Uh, people may think that your art sucks. Well, they suck. <laughs> you know? So, anyways. Okay. Bye. Thanks Bye. for joining us.